Hello everybody! In today's video I will show you how to use the well-known and popular editor Notepad++ as an ABAP editor. So I have already installed this program. So if you want to download this program, click on this link notepad++.org downloads. Pick the newest file and download the installer or the portable. So after you installed this editor, I copy a example ABAP code from one of my example programs and I paste this code here in this editor. Normally you can uh, format this code with different languages, but if we click on language under A, we see here no entry ABAP. But we have another a solution. We can click on language, then on user-defined language and notepad plus plus user-defined languages collection. After the click, we jump into a GitHub repository and we see here a folder called UDLs. We click on this folder and in this folder we see different files, XML definitions from different uh, program languages and we have already two ABAP definitions here. And for the first example I pick the newer one. So I click on this uh, file and here we see the XML definition and then we can download this file. Uh, so we click on the button top right download raw file. After that we have downloaded the file locally to our computer. Then we open the notepad. Again we click on language, on user defined language and define your language. And here we see an import button on top left. We click on it and then we pick the downloaded XML file. Then we click on open and we see the import was successful. Then we close this window and now we have to restart the notepad plus plus application. After the restart, we click on language and now we see an entry here at the end of the list called ABAP. We click on it and now we see a formatted ABAP code. But it's mm, not the same formatting as in the SAP GUI. I don't like the red brackets, for example, and for this I uh, pick the second file we have uh, found in this GitHub repository. So let's test the second ABAP XML file. So after the restart we pick the second one. Okay and now we see this is not much better. So I have to do some research for another file or an adapted file and I found an entry in an in the SAP blocks and here we see this is our current uh, formatting and after uh, a few adaptions on the UDL file we should have an SAP GUI formatting. So I copy this uh, XML file here and I save this code to an uh, locally to my computer as an XML. First I change the name to ABAP3 because I have already two ABAP files in my notepad. And then I save this new file to the same place where the other two files are saved. So now we click on language and use a defined language, define a language. Then I import the new XML file ABAP3. Import was successful. 
and after the restart we pick the new ABAP3 file. So we click on language and ABAP3 and now we see that the formatting is similar to the formatting in the SAP GUI. So I think this is the nicest looking formatting for ABAP code in the Notepad++. Okay, that was it already. If you like my videos, subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. Also, write something in the comments. I always like to read them. Take care and see you on the next video.